All right, we have we have Blue versus um, Redeemer. And Redeemer's actually going to go Rob for this matchup. I guess uh, seeing how that first game with Matt tomorrow didn't go terribly good for him. So we'll see. Redeemer's Might also starting for the this. top. Might also just prefer this matchup. So. Perhaps. Uh, <laughs> careful, Blue's more than ready to throw out that stomp, which would have killed at 40%. Both characters in this situation are going to be hanging around the ledge a lot when they recover. And True. leave both an opportunity to spike each other. Yeah, absolutely. That being said, I think Blue will have a much easier time doing that because uh, Charizard does have the super armor on his recovery, and I've seen him. I've seen Blue specifically just up B straight through spike attempts. Charizard taking mm -hmm. good utilization of that jab. Nice down throw forward air. Still confirmed because Rob's huge. And it could be confirmed again. No, oh, I just, just went for the, the up, up air. air this time. When they DI up, that's the better option. Or DI in, I should say. So everyone has an S combo in this game. Yeah, sort of. Alright. Redeemer just keep playing on the top. Both characters, both players actually playing very safe, if anything, in this match so far. True. But, uh, you know. The difference is that uh, Blue is not at... There we go, back. Safe back. until that back air came through. I was going to say, I'm just... Blue getting the first stock. Like, Blue has been... Uh, Blue's been living out the Charizard a lot more often lately. He gets trying to advance the meta. And uh, the meta for Charizard's pretty much become uh, get them to 70 and back air. So I'm just waiting for the back air. Right. Oh, and then seeing, eventually up throw. I think we're going to see a lot of top options from, uh, Mar from Redeemer this game, especially. Mm -hmm. All right, going to go for the beep and the boop. Yeah, that was bad DI by right. Blue, actually, because, um... Uh, that, that DI is very tough. If you DI yeah. back, then it's probably the best option, because it Ooh. makes the player think a little bit. Well, it's not It's not necessarily that. You have to actually... To op DI optimally, you have to switch um, your direction before the final hit. Uh, that first that final hit was just... It was, no matter where you it DI... It might have. Charizard, Charizard's, ha Charizard's fat. He's the fourth heaviest character in the game. He might have lived. Maybe. I'll probably be seemingly, uh, seemingly powerful. But yeah. Blue is quite a ways to... Oh no, yeah, um, Mark, no, Redeemer has quite a ways to go right now. Yeah. Alright, Z-Drop. Doing some cool Z-Drop shenanigans yep. to that top. Got 70 to back air. Now he just needs one more back air. Redeemer. Yeah, he just did the empty hop, because Blue's made a living of late, just punishing the no neutral get up uh, with that back air at a certain percent, so... If you see Blue just, like, kind of short hopping, maybe, uh, maybe a neutral get up's not the best option. Redeemer is consistent with these tops so far. Always throwing them out. Make sure he has at least one out there somewhere. Up there on the platform. That will do it. Just enough rage to take out Rob. Up throw does it. Mm -hmm. Great use of the platform right. there. Like you said, that was a good wait right there. Make sure you catch him on the platform. It's a guaranteed kill. And now blew up one game. So I want to see what... Adjustments Redeemer makes. Maybe we see the Mario. I right, Redeemer scratching his beard. I don't know. I know the anti wants to start bringing out the Charizard against uh, allies Mario. So I'm not sure if it's the best option. Oh, now we're gonna see. Uh, they picked the stage first, so I guess mm. we're gonna see the double switch for that. Yep. Blue pick. Because uh, I imagine Mario is much better on Battlefield because Blue probably picked Battlefield. I'm imagining or Redeemer probably picked. Oh no, he's gonna go Rob. Okay. I imagine how the conversation went. Yeah. Um, Redeemer probably asked Blue, "Are you gonna switch?" Blue's like. Uh, well, since you asked me that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I buy Let's it. face it, you never, people never switch unless they're going to ask you. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I don't know. I might. Like, if it's a true blind pick, you might switch. Yep. Sometimes you just feel like you got lucky. Just yeah, but who does blind picks? Outside, I did. Outside of like, <laughs> I did because I was facing botch and like we play each other yeah. all the time, so like it was actually important. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, when you get to the point where you have to play each other, the same people, a lot. If you guys play a lot, line picking is probably the best option. Yeah. That being said, it super backfired when I did it. So. <laughs> maybe not in the, maybe not anymore. But. <laughs> I've, I've seen matches where people would just like pick one character, and that the actual action of going on the home screen was just it was a, a troster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, using the nair, and why not? That moves very effective on large bodied characters. So. And of course, Nair by itself is not safe. It's just the fact that Mewtwo has great air mobility and can move with it. Mm -hmm. he, can, he can land behind somebody and much harder to punish that way. 
Because then Rob has to rely on like his forward tilt if he um, if he's not holding the gyro. Hello, and that's just not a great forward tilt. Hello, no fact about blue. Uh, oh no, not blue. Mewtwo in general is that. Yep. Oh, short hop a good, fair. It's good forward. It right just there. kills at a hundred. That moves so strong. Best fair in the game. Oh. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Blue was Mewtwo air dodge. Not exactly an easy uh, easy time. I also like how Blue just couldn't use confusion on just the sitting top. It immediately made it his object. Redeemer couldn't just approach with it. Mm. Ooh, just Redeemer a catch on the F smash out of shield right there. With how light he is, that's definitely going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Blue tries to yeah. uh, reflect the no, back I up. No, I missed. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess. that's the thing at like really low percent. Yep. Up throw into like forward air. We've, I've seen Redeemer been doing that a lot lately. Yeah. Getting up throw forward air super low percent. At low percent, it, let, it lets you so like, it makes it so that you don't uh, you don't end up sailing the deep poop. At least as much, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, right now, Redeemer's going to set up a good wall right here. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that he d that Blue does not need to go in at this point, he's very insistent. On no, no, it's tied. Okay, now yeah, Redeemer's got the lead now. So. Ah, Mewtwo's air dodge. So hard to beat Boop through that. Oh! All right. Oh! Man, get punishing the, the re there. Good job to Redeemer right there. Well done, Run Redeemer's end. Cashing on the invincibility, when the invincibility just ran out in time. Mm -hmm. As your percentage, as your uh, percent goes up, you have less invincible time, so taking advantage of that. Good lot, presence of mind there. A lot of two on sets we've seen today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Parody is good. Inconsistency is annoying, but it makes for exciting matches. <laughs> Depending on who you're watching. Yeah, true enough. All right. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm curious to see what kind of counterfeit game they're gonna play with each other this time. Not sure. Who's gonna blue stay can pick the stage. Um, I don't know. If I'm blue, I would probably go to Lilat and pick Zard. Zard's really good on Lilat. So. Mm-hmm. Dreamland, okay, that also works. Um, basically, what he gets here is all the benefits of Battlefield plus a lower ceiling for up throw kills. But uh, most importantly, the up smash does cover the entire top platform, so that's pretty much free whenever he's under it. Right. Now, this is probably one of the least Oh my god, just throws out the F smash at 0%. Okay. Tell you about how game one goes. Uh, this might not be very favorable for Redeemer so far, but he's making it work with what he's got. Mm -hmm. Alright, go some jabs. Oh, oh. Uh, right, he's gonna he's make gonna it make back it. from this. He's gonna play it safe with that. All right. Two stomp attempts, but none yeah. of them connect there. It's been a lot of Robs do try to conserve some of their fuel. No, understandable. I mean, it's basic sharking, anti or yeah, sharking tactics. So. <laughs> you know, he's okay. gotta be careful. Yeah. Gotta time it so that you snap your le snap the ledge quick enough. I see a lot of characters with those types of recovery just kind of stall like that. Mm -hmm. Especially like characters like. Uh, like Villager and Rob, just trying to use the stall tactics, mix up, uh, so it's not so easy for Blue to get the spike. Oh, the the spike! It just it. I thought Blue would have a uh, super armor through that, but apparently not. So far, I can't talk today. <laughs> Redeemer is having a commanding lead so far, Absolutely. only at fifty three percent. Guess the laser. Gyro's right. on stage. Doesn't that even being matter. said, he's a down air away from the stock clearing, but that doesn't happen. Even if and Blue's looking for it, so Redeemer's very much aware. But even being if. a lot smarter about his recovery. Oh, okay, right. a little bit of rage that looked like that didn't connect quite like it should. That moves uh, that, a little that bit. Move, that, move that moves a bit, strong. Jake. Yeah. That move is super strong, killing at around 90. -ish. Yeah, but and it's also a bit. It's a it's a move that's a bit jank with rage because it has a lot of those very strong linking hitboxes that if you SDI out of the yeah, but spot, the, ra the rage wasn't even that enough though. He was at, he was at like 60 by the time he pulled that out. I know, but I don't think it should have killed then. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Hey, right. the beep boop does yes, it. Yes, the beep boop. And blue will be sent to losers. Redeemer going to advance on to winner's finals with Mar that. Marcus advancing over blue. Good stuff to Marcus. Absolutely. Well done. Definitely beating out one of the inner demons we all have here at the lab. <laughs> How is it an inner demon if we all have it? Fine. An, an, an <laughs> exterior demon. It's very demon. much an outer demon. <laughs> yeah, really uh, beating one of the exterior demons. He's also demons. pretty nice. I wouldn't call him a demon. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't consider that... Despite how uh, how nice someone is, he can still be a demon. Sure enough. 
It's about it's how he plays against you. Is what makes yeah, because Godzilla's pretty nice, but he's kind of a demon on that. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking dude that just farts on you. Like, what the heck? I love this victory dance. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Pretty sure it's based off the. Um, Bobby Dan Luck. I think it's ba I think it's based off the uh, the Rob Famicom like the ro robotic. Oh no, not even Famicom. <laughs> it was like it was released in both of ver like versions of the original NES. Yeah, right, mate. Yo. Right, right, mate. 